So I get asked all the time how I started my business and what are some of the things I did to get to the point I'm at today. And while it's not an easy question to answer, I can give you some tips to get your business going and point you in the right direction. So I'm probably gonna make a series of videos as this one's gonna be more of a general video, but then I'll make a video more specific to what I did when I started. And of course that's gonna be different depending on what industry you're actually in, but I should be able to give you some tips and tricks that should be able to help you universally no matter what business you're in. Also, I'm not gonna rank these in order because I really do feel like everything that's on this list is something that you have to equally have or equally do. Uh, so one doesn't really outrank the other. Uh, so the first thing I really truly feel like you have to have is the right frame of mind. Uh, and get your mindset right when you're running a business and being an entrepreneur. Uh, there's a lot of books out there uh, that you can read that really can help you wrap your mind around the journey that you're gonna go on and the highs and the lows and the ups and the downs. Running a business is not easy, uh, but it's definitely worth it. And I think that if you can get your mind to the point where you understand, hey, there's gonna be some good times, there's gonna be some bad, there's going to be people that say yes, there's gonna be people that say no, and not take everything so personally, and just wrap your mind around that with the ebbs and flows of running a business, I truly believe that's one of the first steps to take uh, to running a business. I also say that because good mental health is really important for making fundamentally sound decisions regarding your business. Uh, you don't want to make anything when you're emotional or when you're too excited because sometimes when things start to go well, you can get excited and make you know decisions that aren't necessarily best for the long term future of your business. One of the next things you want to have is a good solid plan. Now follow me because I'm going to contradict myself a little bit, but just hear me out. So you want to have a solid plan. You want to plan things out and you want to understand where you want to go with your business. That's very, very important. But you also want to have a plan that's somewhat flexible because you, sometimes you have market changes. Sometimes you have ideas that may change or shift uh, depending on what market you're in. If you're in you know, a technology business and the technology that you're basing your product off of somewhat changes, then you may have to change that. So you want to be flexible enough to where if the market shifts or something changes that you can actually still have a sustainable business but you also don't want to just go with the wind and totally change all the time because if you do that it's just not a sustainable business model you're going to have trouble as things change if you constantly you know are changing your product or your service i'll give you a perfect example when i started in video production I didn't know what area of video production that I wanted to go in. You have corporate, you have entertainment, creative, music videos, weddings, you have a ton of different things. So when I got in, I just know I wanted to do video production and I was pretty open to anything that paid. As I got deeper into it, I really realized, hey, it's more consistent in the wedding uh, side of things. So I really decided to hone my skills and craft towards that and then I just went full steam with that. So. I started my business, I had a general direction, I had a general plan, but then I was able to adjust it and go exactly where I felt like I would be the most successful and it worked for me. And the next thing that I want to discuss is actually having a solidified revenue stream. You want to be able to hang your hat on a particular product or a particular service. And if you have add-ons or additions or a la carte items, that's all good, but you definitely want to have one thing that you're really good at that you can produce consistently. And that's something that you can build your business on. Because if you have a lot of auxiliary type of services or products uh, that don't have good margins on them, then it's really gonna be tough to build a business off of that. So make sure you have a solidified revenue stream and that you just don't have like a general area that you wanna go into and then have all these different products or services that may can make you money. Have like one thing that you're like, I know this will sell, I do this really, really well, and you're getting a good product or a good service. So definitely have a solidified revenue stream of how you're gonna make money and something you can build your business off of. Another thing is, as you formulate your business plan and how you wanna map things out, just realize to get started, everything doesn't have to be perfect. 
You don't have to be perfect. Your plan doesn't have to be perfect. Your service doesn't have to be perfect. Don't get me wrong. If someone's paying their hard earned money for something, you definitely want to be able to offer them a good product or a good service, but it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. And that's really important to realize because some people really wait to get started for so long because they want to be perfect. And that's just not how it works. You really have to understand that you get better with time and sometimes you have to put things out there and get feedback from customers in order to improve things and in order to streamline your workflow so these things are important to remember that it doesn't have to be 100 percent perfect before you can really get out there and start pushing it just make sure if you feel like things aren't the way you want them to be that you're getting constant feedback and looking for ways to improve your business and that's one of the things that can help you retain long-term customers is that if they know that you're always trying to improve and better yourself and your product or service. And one of the last but definitely not least things that you have to remember when you start a business, you have to make it your everything. Now, I think with this, you'll find people on different sides of the fence on this. But for me, in almost all the successful business owners that I work with doing video production for, they make their business their everything for at least a period of time. It may not be your everything forever as you diversify your portfolio, but in the beginning, you definitely have to make it your everything. You're gonna have a lot of sleepless nights. You're gonna have to wake up early. You're gonna have to work overtime. You're really gonna have to push yourself when you're tired and when you wanna go do other things or go be social or go on vacation or just you know have a night of relaxation. You really gotta push yourself when you're starting your business. It's just like a house. You, you have to lay the foundation in order to have uh, to build a full house on and that's the same thing with a business you really have to lay a solid foundation and that's just going to take work and really there's just no way around that I know nowadays we there's a really like a work-life balance that people are trying to push and that's cool and I understand that we're not machines and you have to have rest I do get that but for a period of time you really have to make sacrifices in order to grow your business and understand that you can't do this part-time if you want full-time results. That's not how it works. So you really have to put a lot in your business. I understand some people are entrepreneurs and they have a full-time job. And I'll make another video about that because I do believe that entrepreneurship is something that you can do at your own pace and your own level. But if you're trying to make your business a full-time thing and you want it to support you and your family, then you really have to make it your everything. You have to put a lot into it. You just have to be willing to sacrifice when you're laying that foundation and trying to grow your business. Again, I just really wanted to make this video for people that really wanted to know how I started and some of the things that I felt were important when starting a business. So I just wanted to share those thoughts with you. And again, if you like this video, you can go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I'll be making more videos on video production as well as entrepreneurship as well. And uh, thanks for tuning in and until next time, peace.